Why do bestsellers read so much faster than SF novels? This last week, I read Resurrection Walk by Michael Connolly, 2023. It's a 400-page novel, and I read it in about a day to a day and a half. You can see there's a lot of chapters. The font is fairly big, but it wasn't for those reasons that I read this book quickly. It made me start to think about why some books take so long to read versus other books. I find that most bestsellers that I read are very quick reads. So for today's topic of discussion, I would like you to tell me why you think that bestsellers read so much faster than SF novels. Resurrection Walk is the 38th book by Michael Connolly. I've read all of them. From his detective Harry Bosch to The Lincoln Lawyer and now Renee Ballard. TV series such as Bosch and Bosch Legacy and The Lincoln Lawyer have come from these novels. If you're only familiar with the TV series, know that Harry Bosch and Mickey Holler have a connection. In Resurrection Walk, Harry Bosch has retired from the police force and is working as a private investigator for Mickey Haller. The resurrection walk that they refer to is when a client who has been jailed is found to be innocent and walks the resurrection walk out of jail. Part police procedural and the other part court trial, this novel moves along at a fast clip. It is difficult to put down. What makes a bestseller a page turner. I think one factor is the narrative drive. There is a momentum to the novel, a mystery to solve, a crusade for justice, or perhaps just survival. I also think that most bestsellers work as a sequential story. They are a procedural, linear in structure. One step leads to the next step leads to the next step. We are following in the protagonist's footsteps. I also think that there are hooks. Sometimes they are a cliffhanger at the end of a chapter, but often they're just a revelation or a question that leads you to the next chapter. And the next chapter starts right away into discovering what is going on. This act of hook to discovery keeps propelling the reader forward through very short chapters. In the case of long-standing series, we are also invested in the characters. We're very comfortable with them, and we want to make sure that they are okay. Some science fiction examples of bestsellers might be Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, or The Martian by Andy Weir. They seem to fit into this bestseller mode of storytelling. Narrative momentum, quick chapters with hooks and discoveries. Often, these chapters are primarily dialogue and action. Now, what's interesting about these science fiction novels that I've just mentioned is that there will be a number of people who might not even consider them science fiction. They're just bestsellers. What is it about SF that slows down the story? Is it the world building? Are there too many info dumps? Is it more difficult to create an SF bestseller? I think this is a topic for discussion. I'm going to turn it over to you. Please comment, read others' comments, perhaps re-comment. I'd like to find out what you're thinking. So until next time, please comment.